Yo, what is going on guys? CW Pokey here back with a brand new video and now we finally have information about brand new Pokemon games. Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon. While the finer details still haven't been unveiled, it is cool to get a more clear view of what's coming up next with the series, and it looks like we'll be spending some more time in Alola. From our understanding though, so far the game is going to be similar to a retelling of Sun and Moon, possibly with an altered story and some regional changes. Which brings a pretty cool possibility, new Alolan forms. Alolan forms brought some really cool designs to old school Kanto Pokemon, and honestly most of my favorite designs from Gen 7 were the Alolan forms. So I decided to grab some fan designs of some really cool ideas for new Alolan forms to share with you guys. Links to all of the artists will be in the description down below, so show your support if you enjoyed their art. And now let's jump straight into this video. Starting off today's video, we've got a classic Pokemon that's been dying to have a dragon typing added to its lineup, Gyarados. This poor water flying had the potential to get a type change to dragon with Mega Gyarados, but instead wound up being water and dark. This awesome idea for an Alolan form suggests that the Gyarados and Alola adapted into some fearsome water dragons, and this design looks absolutely crazy. I'd imagine Alolan Gyarados would become a huge threat in the competitive scene, with an awesome typing that turns a lot of weaknesses into neutral hits. But nonetheless, just from a fan perspective, this design looks absolutely incredible and I totally love to see it. Migrating from the Unova region, Lilligant is the next Pokemon in this video to gain a cool new Alolan form. Learning from the traditional hula dance, Lilligants have gained the art of fire techniques to turn it into an incredibly unique type, grass and fire. This design also comes with the flash fire ability, which could be an awesome tool to have possibly tricking trainers into baiting out a fire based attack if they aren't familiar with this new form's type change. With Quiver Dance under its moveset, a fast fire and grass type Pokemon would have incredible sweeping potential, and it would look super adorable and innocent the entire time. Next up is one of my favorite designs in this video, and that's Alolan Butterfree. Traditionally an incredibly frail bug flying type, Butterfree and Alola have turned into, well, incredibly frail ice fairy types. But nonetheless, this design looks super cool, looking like a sprite with its jagged designs and bright colors. Ice and Fairy may not be the best typing to have in the competitive scene, but it would certainly add some cool changes to Butterfree and would be a very vibrant Pokemon to carry on your team. Somehow crossing the seas separating Kanto and Alola, Snorlax has followed its stomach to the tropical region and learned some cool new tricks along the way. Turning into a normal fighting type, Alola and Snorlax looks hilarious and yet somehow intimidating at the same time. Gaining some new techniques in wrestling, Snorlax looks like he just caught you trying to steal its food. This form looks like you gain a bit of a buff to his speed stat and his attack stat to be a little bit more fearsome on the battlefield. But let me know, what sort of ability would you give this guy? I feel like this Alolan Snorlax would have to bring something new to the table. Personally, I think it would have something to do with pancakes. Taking up a few spots today goes to a set of Pokemon that really should have had new forms to begin with. Fortunately, Game Freak still won me over by making them catchable, but the Johto starters definitely deserve some cool Alolan variations. With Kanto starters receiving Mega Evolutions in X and Y, followed by Hoenn starters having their Mega lineup completed with Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, I was 100% confident that Johto starters would get new forms in Sun and Moon. While they didn't, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon has the golden opportunity to change that, and it looks like many fan artists agree. Sorting through a few designs, this group of Alolan forms was the one I liked the most for the Johto starters, giving the Chikorita line with a new fairy type, Cyndaquil's line a ghost type, and Totodile's family being part ice. It's a super cool way to keep their original designs and typings in mind, but completely revamping what they can do on a competitive level. And this artist in particular went through the effort of designing forms for every stage of the evolution. Let me know which of these Johto starters are your favorite. Personally, I've always been a huge fan of Chikorita, even though it's pretty tough to use, but I'm a sucker for this ice totodile. Nonetheless, if you're curious as to what I want most in Ultra Sun and Moon, this is it right here. Give me some sort of addition to the Johto starters and I am a happy trainer. Continuing on with just two Pokemon left, this second to last spot goes to a super clever change to an old Kanto Pokemon, Dodrio. A pink flamingo type of Pokemon was on a wish list for many people in Gen 7, and we didn't quite get one. But it looks like Dodrio saw some changes coming into the Alolan region by changing into a three-headed flamingo. I love this design because I feel like it translates so well, and it keeps that tropical theming of sun and moon which makes it all the better. Hopefully spicing up Dodrio with the added water type, Alolan Dodrio would probably be a Pokemon I'd have to include on my team in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. 
And lastly, a design that managed to catch my interest for many reasons tops off today's video, Aegislash. If you watched my original Alolan form video for Sun and Moon, you might have remembered that I already included a variant of Aegislash on my list, but this one snuck its way on because it totally reminded me of Aku Aku from Crash Bandicoot. If you're watching this video shortly after it's been uploaded and you're a Crash fan like myself, you probably know about the Insane Trilogy coming out this weekend. It's been a game I've been super pumped for and I can't wait to start playing it. But nonetheless, it also borrows some Tiki designs, which I'm surprised Alola didn't capitalize off of too much. We did see the Tiki inspired designs with the Tapu family, but I believe that was about it. Either way, Aegislash seems like a shoe in for an Alolan form with all of the clever designs we've already seen. And just like that, this video has already come to a conclusion. So let me know what was your favorite form that was on this list. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you have not already. Thanks so much for watching guys, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.